Hello everyone, Michelle here from the Creative Cove. Thanks for joining me today. I am uh, looking at doing part two of our tree series. Uh, we're going to do Weeping Willow and if we have time we'll do a birch tree. So I've been doodling away, having some fun. You might notice that my setup is a little bit different. It's hard to see, but um, I'm using my iPad right now and it is right below my face. And uh, I've got a light set up because the iPad casts a massive uh, shadow over where I draw. So I hope this video works. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I started doing a video on my cell phone like I normally do. And I was sketching this tree for you guys and uh, the battery cut out. So uh, it just told me I, it couldn't record anymore. So I was really frustrated. But I'm back. We'll do a video today on these willow trees. I really... Um, practiced on these because I found them quite difficult to draw. They are uh, they're pretty challenging in the sense that you're going to take a tree and simplify it quite a bit. So I'm going to use uh, the reference of my drawing here for um, for us today. i rip off a piece of this paper and uh, let's get started. Well I'm just going to bend down here and make sure I'm actually in frame. I'm not casting too much of a shadow. So we're just going to have to, we're going to have to make this work till I can solve my, my situation on filming. So what I like to do is grab a pencil. I'm going to later use my as 0.03 micron pen. Um, I like to kind of get the shape of the tree down before I start sketching with pen. So what I like to do is I make these kind of puffy cloud looking shapes. Uh, this is basically trying to capture the shape of this tree. So willows have these, uh, weeping willows have these big clusters, uh, big branches that come out with big clusters of long type branches on them with leaves. So in order to create scale and form, we have to kind of show all that in the details in the sketch without going and drawing every single little leaf. We don't want to do that. So what I like to do is I just kind of make these little clusters and then I'll come back with my pen now in a second. Just wanna make sure I've got the shape that I want. I think I'm gonna go in on this side and I'm using a yellow light to highlight, to light up my drawing area here, which is probably not the, the best light to use, but it's what I got. All right, and I'm going to put an indication of a trunk in, just so I know where the center of my tree is. And now I'm going to grab my micron. So I've, I've created the shape of the tree. Now I want to build up on the form. So I'm going to start putting in some implied, what I call implied textures, to create the illusion of these long stringy type branches. So I am going to find those original lines that I did. And you see I'm holding my pen way at the back here um, because I want a very loose sketch. I'm not putting in super fine details. I'm just playing and creating the illusion of this texture on this tree, which is those branches. So I find the little, little cloud puff, so to speak, and I pull up behind it and create the long branches coming cascading down. And again with this one here, I find it and those ones come behind. And then this one sits in front. So you can slow me down or speed me up, whatever you like, uh, so you can sketch along with me. I had a lot of requests for willow tree, for weeping willow. It is such a beautiful tree there's, they're unmistakable when you see them. They're easy to see because they're so unique looking and they've got this very nostalgic look to them. And there's nothing like sitting under one of these in the summertime or swinging from one or breaking off a branch and running around trying to whack your friends with the branch. <laughs> That's what I remember doing as a kid. We tried to whip each other with these branches. <laughs> some funny memories. So you can see I'm slowly building up these these tufts and I don't want to go too hard on the shading just yet 
right now I just want to build up the form by putting in an indication of these textured branches. And then I'll give it a little bit more detail in a minute. So this, I find these kind of sketches as opposed to the pine, pine trees that we did, um, these take a little bit more time to draw because you're taking a lot of detail and simplifying it very simply. <laughs> you're simplifying the form in a way that you're eliminating the real detail and creating the illusion of this tree. So you're creating the illusion of scale, the illusion of the type of branches it has, the type of leaves that it has, without actually drawing the, the branch. This is what, a sketch of a branch that I did right here. And this is what all these individual long skinny things have on them. Well, because we're far away from one, we wouldn't be able to see that detail, but you wouldn't be able to put all that kind of detail in. So what we have to do is create the illusion of those type of branches on this tree. And every tree you draw, you're gonna find the texture that you need to use in order to create that illusion. So in this case, it's these long linear lines that we're using with a couple of scribbles that will slowly build up the texture we, re we need to create this tree. So I'll be quiet for a second and just sketch away here. Okay, so now I put most of the form in. I'll have a assessment now and have a look back and see what, what I like and what I don't like. So we haven't finished the bottom of the tree yet, but already I don't like these three patch, four patches actually. They're a little too uniform for me. So I'm going to break that a little bit by putting in some darker spots here. So these dark spots are kind of like the tree has opened up. There's no branches coming right at me here. And now I can see inside the cluster of that canopy. But I can't see all the way through because the branches on the other side of the tree are blocking the light and blocking the view through. So you get to really have fun building up dark spots on this tree and creating the illusion of depth. And you can slowly break up these little patterns so I'm just gonna hold my pen a little different now and really play with the textures and the details. So I'm just scribbling a few spots. While I build up this value, you'll start to see the scale starts coming to life. You can suddenly see how massive these trees are and how we've captured that in a two-dimensional form. So you can draw a tree like when you're a kid, you know, when you're a kid, you're taught to draw a tree like this. Well, first of all, trees don't look like that. And second of all, there's no scale, there's no volume, there's no depth, there's no detail, but it's a sim it's symbol of the tree, but there's no scale here. So here, when you start putting in these values, these darker values, it starts adding a lot of scale detail and a lot of depth to the tree. So I'm going to put the trunk in here. I'm going to put it Make sure it's kind of under the tree here. I'm going to put the indication of a trunk. And they have, the ones by my house anyways, have these massive trunks. Like really big trunks. You think about the big branches that come off these and then on the end of those branches, the mass of, of uh, branches that hold all those leaves. This tree would weigh a ton. So I'm gonna get those willow branches all the way down to the ground. This is a big one. She's full.
I'll just kind of scribble in some darker spots here. And every time I draw one of these, it looks a little different. I'm gonna add a little bit more of a poof to the side here. Normally I would move my, my paper, but I don't wanna go out of the view of the camera because I can't see where my camera is with this setup right now. And I hope uh, the video is clear enough for you to follow. Hope you're sketching along with me. And you can speed me up or slow me down, whatever you need to do. Put a little bit of scale in here, a little bit of value in here. And then at the bottom of the tree, I also like to put in a little bit of ground here. Just to ground the tree a little bit. And then we keep bringing those branches right down to the ground in some spots. And then underneath the canopy, we'd see the other part of the tree in the background. Underneath where the rest of the branches are on the other side, casting a shadow inside the canopy. And again, that helps with scale and depth and form. All those things are kind of tied together. So there's our willow. And come back and put a little bit of details in here with some squiggly lines of new growth on the top of the tree. And there's our willow tree. So we've built up a, an illusion of all these types of branches. Um, very quickly, actually, a little quicker than I thought. So it, again, it might take you a little, a little time to be able to do this sort of tree. It's you've got to really visualize the tree in your head, and you have to kind of play with these values and these forms in order to capture this texture and this type of tree. So the next thing I wanted to do, and I, I wanted to do this. If we don't get the birch tree done today, we'll do do another video. But I wanted to show you a close up of the branches. So am I even on camera? Here we go. So um, I really love the leaves on these trees. So I like to draw them quite a bit. And I just pull a line out and I bring that back. I'm thicken up the branches I go. And then I'll do another one, say here. And these are really loose and fun to draw. But it's kind of fun to add this in the journal as well and add all the details you can about the tree you're sketching. So the branch keeps continuing behind this leaf. So this leaf is in front here. This leaf is further back. And then maybe there's another leaf peeking through here that's attached, attached to the main stem. And that one's further back. So I'll go a little bit darker on this one. And keep going until I hit the, the end of the branch. And this is just a segment of the branch because the, these would, I'll show you, did I bring my other drawing out? I think I did, I'll show you in a second. How a branch goes into another branch into another branch that creates these long collection of branches. So it's just kind of fun to study the tree in a way. You know, look at the seeds that trees produce, look at the leaves it has, look at the leaves at different seasons. Um, details of the tree, you could play with the bark. So on a birch tree that we'll do next, you can, it's famous for its pretty white bark. So there, just wanted to do a little sketch of, of the um, branches and I'll show you real quick here if I have it. So here, 
there's the branch that comes this way and the branch that comes this way and it would keep going up with another branch that comes down and another one and it just keeps going and going. So there's the willow. I hope that helped. I hope that gave you some ideas to play with and practice with. It's a lot of fun. And of course you could put way more detail in these, in these leaves if you wanted to and just keep going and going. So let me grab another piece of paper and we will do our birch tree. So I had a lot of requests for birch as well. I'm not a big, huge fan of drawing birch. Um, I find them quite time consuming to draw. They're beautiful trees, but uh, I do find them a little time consuming. What I like to play with is close-ups of the um, the bark. That's my favorite part. And if my voice changes, because I keep looking down to make sure I'm in frame. Um, so I don't, I'm not keen on drawing this so much as I like drawing close-ups and details, but we will do this today and uh, we'll do the overall shape and form again of a birch and I will grab my pencil because that helps me kind of establish what I want to do first. So I'm going to start, and I'm going to use that tree as my reference again. Uh, I'm going to start with the main trunks. So one trunk, two trunk three trunks and then another trunk and I'm going to have to move this down lower because I made those trunks too big we'll run out of tree at the top so let me just start again sorry Make sure I move this up so we'll do a little trunk here and I don't know if these are different kinds of bird trees where they have a few trunks come out of the base uh, I've seen a uh, birch trees where they're a single kind of trunk so I don't know if they're different species or if it's just the way they happen to grow I don't know I don't know much too much about them I, I have a lots and lots of birch around here though and they go a beautiful yellow in the in the fall bright yellow okay so I've only put a few details of branches in so this these stopping here means I'm going to now build up the the shape of the tree so I'm going to put in an indication of tufts of leaves again it's the same process as the willow only now we have to apply a new texture because it's a different kind of tree so it's not going to have these long linear lines coming down anymore it's going to have more of a scribble to it so I because I can see these branches going up I only put detail around them until I establish where and what branches I want to show through the tree. So I'm going to do my main ones right now. So those are my main trunks. This is another trunk. And maybe this one breaks off. And another trunk. This one's in front. And then there's the ground. So it comes right out of the ground and splits into four. And now I'm going to start playing with the leaves. Now the leaves are really pretty. They have kind of a heart shape to them with a ruffled edge, at least the birch trees around here. So I want to do the same thing. I want to find those kind of cloudy puffs and start building up the values and the form of my tree. Again, always having a visual of a birch tree near you in your head or something you can look at or think of we really help. Um, I strongly recommend having a visual reference with you when you're drawing. It really helps figure out where things go. doesn't mean you're going to draw that tree exactly, but it teaches you to see things in a different way when you have them right in front of you and you have to simplify it. So as you can see, this texture is a scribble. I'm literally just scribbling in. So where I'm putting these thicker, denser scribbles, where there's darker patches, so to speak, is where light is not penetrating the leaves as much. And I just keep building them up without creating an identical pattern anywhere. So if I leave this all white like this, it means the sun's hitting this part of the tree, which is towards me. These branches are growing at me, so I can't see through them. And then through here, there's very little branches. I don't have anything there, so I can see right through the tree. And of course, birch is famous for its bark. 
So we have, we'll throw in a little bit of texture of bark here. And I think we'll do a quick sketch of the bark after we've done this tree, because it is fun to draw. And again, you're just implying that texture. Those fun bits and bobs on the tree, little eyes and lines. I put a little shading on the back one just to separate the trunks a little bit. And now I'm going to fill in back here because this is behind those, um, what are they called? Trunks. <laughs> I'm just going to pop some leaves back here and I'll start building up my texture again. Kind of get a feel for the tree, see if I want to make it wider or more narrow. And I just scribble. So up here maybe a branch will show here and another branch coming off where there's very little branch uh, branches coming at me so I can see all this. And then maybe I'll cover some of this other trunk back up where there are branches coming at me and I can't see. Sorry, there, yeah, there's branches coming at me with leaves on it and I can't see the trunk anymore. So these can be as simple or as busy as you like them. You can really play and have fun with drawing these kind of trees. And I think they're really charming in a journal myself. I just love the look of these little sketches in a journal. Grab yourself some bark off it, fallen on the floor off a dead branch or something, and pick it up and look at it and sketch it. It's so much fun. I'm going to put this branch back in, maybe a little broken, so that some leaves sit in front. So I've got the, the form of my tree. It's still a little flat looking, so now I really want to pop the values and create some depth here. So I'm going to put some squiggles in here now. Start building up pockets of leaves. Let me pop those branches forward. And I got a lot of really wonderful suggestions of trees. Some really unique trees I've never heard of which I hope to cover, um, and some trees that are incredibly old, been around for mil millions of years, that are still here, so I would like to make sure I draw some of those. So we've got, we got some more to do with our, our tree um, series. And keep the suggestions coming I'm more than happy to try and develop it. If I can draw it, I will share it with you. <laughs> and we'll keep learning how to draw these things together and have fun with it. Now, I get a lot of uh, wonderful comments saying that people are really thrilled with their sketches, which makes me feel great. It's something more rewarding than hearing that my videos are inspiring people to pick up a pen or a pencil. It's, it's awesome. That's why I do it. Even when my equipment malfunctions, it's still worth doing. And maybe a little bit more. Let's put a couple of branches behind underneath here, a little weight. And again, these uh, uh, building up this value really helps with the scale. You can really see the size of this tree now. All right. If you find too your hands rigid and you can't get that looseness, hold your pencil pen or pencil way at the back. I find it helps because sometimes my hand gets tight and uh, I can't get the, the sketchy look I'm after. So I'll move my hand back here and I find it really helps when I draw these trees. All right, so there's our birch. Put a little ground in here too. 
So there's our birch tree. Well, let's try. Um, let's try doing the. The. Um, oh my gosh! Can't think of the word. trunk. Let's do a little close up of just the trunk, maybe, and having it split off. So this one sits in front of this one. So I automatically darken up a little bit back here just to help create that illusion. And you see I didn't draw a, a straight line like this when I go to draw a branch or a tree, a trunk. Um, there's texture to these trees. So you wanna imply that texture by creating a little squiggly line on the side to help show that this texture is all the way around the tree. So if you just did a trunk like this and then tried to put the birch in it, the lines of the birch, it's very flat, right? But if you create these little wiggles on the side of the tree or even miss a whole tr part of it and then start putting in the texture, you'll see it looks way more realistic. Another thing as well is I'm not going, so when I draw the, the trunk, I'm not drawing straight across. I'm working on my contour, so it, I'm curving it. Because remember, this it goes all the way around. So I wanna imply that it's three-dimensional and it curves around where we can't see it. I put some eyes in here, they're famous for eyes. And I just keep playing. I'm just remembering to contour my lines. Make sure they're curving with the tree. And there's great plane. The, the bark is the, probably the funnest part to draw on a birch tree, <laughs> at least in my opinion. And you can get some really old ones that have these really big, bold, dark patches. Really have fun with it. Maybe we'll do some watercolor with these. That would be fun. So as it goes up, the bark continues. And we have another branch here. I have one coming off here. So to add a branch, you can decide where the branch goes. So for example, if we want, if we, let's do it here, hopefully I'm on camera. If we want a branch coming out from behind, it's growing on the other side of that, that trunk here. We're gonna put it so that it, we can't see how it attaches to the tree. So it's way behind. If we want a branch to start in front, it would cross over and then grow out. So now this here sits in front and we still put the textures in. Sorry, normally I'd move the, the paper, but I have to move my wrist. So you can see the tree branch comes out and you just kind of sketch the branches. So one thing I notice that when it, people are drawing trees is they'll draw a branch and then they draw branches to that branch. So, or they, or there's, they'll glue them on, right? I see a lot of people draw like this or giving themselves sticks. So you have to remember that the, the branches grow out from the tree. So in order to make this look more realistic, you want to, whenever you're, going away from the main trunk of the tree, the growth is away from the tree. So that curve away from the main branches are really important. So let me just uh, grab another sheet here so it's not so messy. This is a cute little, uh, it's a helpful tip when you're drawing. So you're, you've got a branch coming up, you've got a trunk coming up and you've got a branch going off and now you want to do another branch going off. So you want to curve the branch and curve it while the main branch continues. Okay, so a lot of people do this and then they do this. So there's no curve here. That curve is important because this piece is growing out of this branch. And another thing to do to create more depth in these uh, deciduous trees is to overlap your branches. So a lot of people will do a branch, for example, and then another branch, and then another branch. 
but they'll never overlap these branches. Well, if you think about how many branches these birch trees have, they have millions of them. They're gonna overlap. So you have to kind of decide, okay, this, this branch can go behind this one. This one's gonna sit in front. And then another branch come off here, and then a branch coming off here is gonna pass behind this one. And you start creating lots of depth when you decide which branch is in front and which branch is behind. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna do another branch coming down here, one going off this, this elbow, and now I'm gonna do another one, say, coming off here. And another branch coming off here. And they all have to decide who's in front and who's behind. So wherever, whichever one sits in front, those lines cross in front. Whichever one goes in back, those lines break. So now you create a lot more depth by deciding which branches go in front and which branches go behind. I hope that helps. And remember to, to do that curve. Oh, was I even in frame there? I'm sorry. And I don't know where this camera is yet. So I'll show you that again, sorry. So which, ca which branches in front and which branches behind? Did I go off again? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> One day I'll have a professional setup. All right, so that's that's it for today. Um, I can do the birch leaf real quick for you if you like. Uh, I'll go right here, make sure I'm in frame again, my goodness. So they have these, I'm sure they have a technical term where the, I guess these were a closed bud and now they've opened into a leaf. So they have the stem. And then without putting too much detail into it, I put kind of like a squiggly line and then back down. And then they have these beautiful uh, veinings and then there'll be another one that will come out and we'll twist we'll draw this one this way and a little wiggle and back and a wiggle and this one so here's an example this leaf is behind this leaf so it breaks and we we see it again on this side and it's got its veining and then the main branch that these are growing off continues. And then you'd have another piece coming out here with another leaf. I love drawing the leaves of most trees. I like drawing the leaves more than I like drawing the form of the trees. And another one going this way. I just like close-ups, I guess. I'm not sure why. And so on and so forth. So this guy would keep going like this, and you draw more and more and more. So there's a little leaf. All right, so where'd my original sketches go? Just recap here. So we did our willow tree. Our willow tree, where am I? Oh, way over there, geez, I hope I was in frame. Our willow tree here, which turned out pretty good, I think. And our birch tree. Get them both in frame, there we go. So I hope that helped. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you give it a try. Hope you have fun building up the forms of these trees. They are they are fun, but I'm not gonna lie, they can be challenging. Uh, you're I find you either prefer to draw the deciduous type trees or coniferous trees. I'm more of a I like the coniferous trees. I find them a little bit easier to draw. <laughs> All right, that's it for today.